What's up guys, Juice Mercy here, and welcome to a brand new video. And today, we're looking at some potential informs for Team of the Week number 22, which starts tomorrow, of course, on Wednesday. And if you guys want more of this, I could do this every single week, probably every Monday or Tuesday. Now, I'm going to say it from the very start, this is not a full Team of the Week prediction. If you're looking for goalkeepers, defenders and stuff, they probably won't be featured because I'm looking through big name players, the notable one every single week, to try and put out the best of the best that could feature in the upcoming Team of the Week. The player stats, the ratings, etc. They're all predictions as of right now, so we'll find out tomorrow like I did mention. So before we get started, as always, if you can show your support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. And also show me if you want to see this every single week. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. If I've missed any big name players for the upcoming team of the week, let me know down below in the comments. And if you missed yesterday's video, it will be down below in the description box. The very first player today is going to be Bellarabi from Bayer Leverkusen. And I've used three different sources, three different websites to get information regarding each player's performance, transfer market, who scored, and also flash scores. But back onto Bellarabi then. So his other cards so far on FIFA 17 consist of an 83 rated base card, a November 84, which technically isn't a special item. The only difference between that and his normal one is plus five physical. And the possibility of him getting an 85 or an 86 rated inform card, um, I'd say 50-50 right now. And the only reason for that is because another Bayer Leverkusen player did do very, very well over the weekend. Uh, so technically, I don't know if I have two Bayer Leverkusen players in there, well, they could do. And the reason he could get an inform is two assists and a 3-0 win versus Frankfurt. And an 85 Bellarabi, to be fair, looks pretty damn decent. Then we got to the next player, that is Carrasco from Atletico Madrid, and, and I think it's a very high possibility. I'm pretty much certain he'll get one. I'll get onto the reason in a second, but his other cards so far on FIFA 17, a base 82. I think right now on head Teddy is an 84, so he will receive an upgrade probably um, in the next couple of weeks. He has an 84 rated first in form, so the second in form probably about 86. And the reason, one goal, one assist, and man of the match according to who scored in a 3-2 win versus Celta Vigo, and he actually scored the second goal for Atletico Madrid in the 86th minute, so the equaliser. I believe I also read somewhere saying that Carrasco did win a penalty in that game. Torres did miss it though, but a lot of rumours saying that Carrasco did dive to win the penalty in the first place. I could well be wrong on that one, but one thing that was for sure, Carrasco's goal was an absolute stunner, and Torres' effort, his goal, was really, really nice as well. Then we go on to the next player, uh, Di Maria. His base card is an 87 rated right winger and potentially could get a left wing card this week due to the fact he scored one goal and got one assist plus a second highest match rating in a 3 0 win versus Bordeaux. And the player did get man of the match, by the way, was Cavani, who got two goals as well, but he does also have a third in form and a team in the group stage. And I was expecting to see a Di Maria SBC for Valentine's Day, but as of right now, I'm recording this video, it doesn't look very, very likely. Now we've got to the next player, Gabby Adini, now of Southampton. And his three cards so far on FIFA 17 consist of three 81s, a once to watch card of Winter 1 released a couple of weeks ago for Southampton, a non-transfer card at Napoli, and transfer card also now again at Southampton. The possibility is very high in my opinion because he got two goals and man of the match in a 4-0 win versus Sunderland. I've predicted an 83 rated card and I would well change his once to watch card from an 81 to an 83 or whatever his inform card does get. And I think right now his price has increased to over 100k and he would be a very tiny Premier League striker. Then we got to the next player, Chicharito Hernandez at Bayer Leverkusen. That's the reason I said Bellarabi is a 50-50. His other cards so far in 17 consist of an 83 rated base card, an 85 first in form, so this would be a second in form Hernandez, and a very decent card, 86 pace, 89 shot, uh, some okay physical passing, and 84 dribbling. Possibility is high, and the reason, two goals and man of the match, according to who scored, in a 3-0 win versus Frankfurt. And next up is Gonzalo Higuain, and already so far in FIFA 17, he's got an 88 rated base card, a first in form 89, second in form 90, and a third in form 91, which is current ones to watch. And the possibility of a fourth in form Higuain, in my opinion, is quite high because he got two goals plus man of the match in a 2 0 win versus Cagliari. I think he'd be the first player on FIFA 17 to get a fourth in form card, and his ones to watch card did rise to about 400k at one point, but now I think it's come back down. Now we've gone to Sadio Mane and potentially a second informed version, but a third special item for him. So his base card 79 has a once to watch 82 right now, which is his first informed card. Then you've got a team of tournament from the African Cup of Nations as an 84. I put the possibility as high, but I'm pretty sure it'd be in there like 100% because he got two goals and man of the match and a 2 0 win versus Tottenham. And for his card rating, I've given him an 85 for now, based on the 82, but he could well be an 86 if they go from a team of tournament card. And he's also now an 82 rated player in head-to-head -head right now, so his first in form be affected still, I imagine. 
um, with the upgrade when it does come out. Then we go on to Mars Now this card could be one of the best cards on the game. If you've used this base card, that 82 rated player out there, and you know how good he is. Now, I think the possibility is very, very high, like Sadio Mane. He got one goal, one assist, and man of the match in a 2 0 win versus Watford. And price wise, I'm pretty sure he'd be like a 500k plus player because if he comes out this week, the weekend league this week's requirements is Premier League only pretty much. And people are fully aware how good his base card is at striker and seven chemistry. So this one, it'll be even better, has a bit of everything, very, very quick, very good on the ball, very good shot, and also 80 physical or so. Then the next player is a silver, and that is Mbappe from Monaco. His base card is a 71 rated left winger. The possibility is high and the reason he got a hat-trick, three goals, plus man of the match, a 10 match rating in a 5-0 win versus Mets. And Falcao is partner up front. I also got two goals and one assist plus a 9.9 .9 match rating. But Falcao he has got a second in form in the latest team of the week. And I'm pretty sure it's very, very, very rare, if not impossible, for a player to get back to back in forms. And it would be a nice position change from a left winger to a central striker. Then we go on to nine go. Now this one, I'm going to say from the very start, the possibility, very low. He started off as an 84 rated player, got a first in form, which put him in the All-80 club. A second in form, 87 for normal stats. Now this one would probably be a 88 rated cam, although uh, Roma have been playing a 3-4-2-1. And on the team sheet, he's taking a left forward, but I'm pretty sure he'd stay central. And he got one goal in a 2 0 win versus Crotone, so I'm pretty sure he won't get one because that's not enough, in my opinion, for a third in form. Then we go on to another Roma player, and that is Mohamed Salah. The possibility, this one's 50-50. Now, he has got so many special cards so far on FIFA 17. A base 81, an 82 rated screen card, 84 first in form, 86 second in form, and an 87 team of the tournament. Well, I'm pretty sure he's released anyway as an Ironman of the match, but still, he has some great, great cards in this game. He got two assists in a 2-0 win versus Crotone, and again, he was the right-sided player with nine going on the other side, so technically, he could be a cam. Now imagine a 4-1-2-1-2 two, two with Mertens, a third in format striker, next to like Dybala or Higuain, and have Salah at camp, it would be unreal. Next up is Raheem Sterling, a player that started the season off very, very well under Pep Guardiola, went a bit quiet for a period of time, but now looks like he's back into some form in his current cards on FIFA 17, an 82 rated left midfield, a 84 player of the month, and now I'm expecting an 86 rated in form. The possibility in my opinion is very high, and the reason one goal I put one assist with a question mark because some sites say that Aguero didn't get given the goal and it was in fact a Tyrone Mings I think it was own goal which technically means that Sterling wouldn't get the assist but I'm pretty sure Sky S they did say Aguero got the goal so Sterling one goal one assist and man of the match in a 2 0 win versus Bournemouth. And his player of the month card is honestly one of the best ones on the game I've used so far. He's only 84 rate, he'd be so, so quick, so good on the ball, and seems to have a very good finish. And unfortunately for City fans, and for people that bought the ones to watch Gabriel Jesus, he's actually now out for two to three months with a broken metatarsal, so his ones to watch price has plummeted. And now from one former Liverpool player to another, we have got Luis Suarez, and potentially could be getting a second in form this week, and his current card's 92 base card, a 93 first in form, a 94 SBC, which this one would kind of match a little bit, and of course a 98 rated team of the year. Possibility is high, the reason, two goals and two assists, plus man of the match, a 10 rating in a 6-0 win versus Alaves. This card would be worth so, so much, and probably quite a bit more in value than his SBC one, so would it be worth it? Probably not, but still a very big name to have in the team of the week. Then we go on to the final one, the final separate one at least, and that is Arturo Vidal of Bayern Munich. So he started FIFA 17 off with an 87 rated base card, got an 88 rated Footmas SBC from December 23rd. I didn't actually get that one, by the way, and now could well be in line for his first in form. And the reason I've put a possibility is high, because he got one goal and man of the match according to who scored, even though he technically didn't get the man of the match, by the way, because I think on kicker, he only got a 3.5. And I think the best you can get is like a 1 or a 1.5, so some way off that in comparison to other players in the pitch. But he did get one goal and a 2-0 win versus Ingolstadt, and it was a 90th minute goal to make it 1-0. And that's why I think he will get the informed card, because technically, it was the winner. And now we've got the best of the rest. It's players that I'm not covering too much detail to so tell you what they have done to potentially get an inform. Now, first up is Muller from Hamburg. It would be a second inform. He got three assists. So I'm pretty sure he'll get into team of the week. Then we have got Ben Taleb, formerly of Tottenham, at two assists, plus a last man tackle and man of the match for Schalke. And um, although kicker, I think, gave it to Goretzka, who's next to him. And Goretzka did get one goal in their victory. Then we've got Braithwaite, a second in form, potentially as a left midfielder this time instead of striker, for two goals plus man of the match for Tolu, although one of the goals was a penalty. Borja Valero got one goal, one assist, and man of the match for Fiorentina. Bellotti, two goals and man of the match. 
for Torino. And then next we've got a man of the match card. That is Dembele. And that's because he got back to back hat tricks now. Of course, it was in last week's Team of the Week. And that was a hat trick in the cup. So maybe very unlikely to get in Team of the Week. Alejandro Gomez got one goal, one assist, plus a 10 match rating and man of the match for Atalanta at striker. Now he has got one in form already. Is one goal and one assist for a striker enough? I think possibly the 10 match rating. It definitely will be. Gagliardini got man of the match for Inter Milan despite getting no goals, no assists. So there's ones to watch. Probably has gone up in price a little bit. And then we go on to Adair, who got one goal, one assist for Inter. And the final one is another Torino player just like Belotti, and that is Iago Falke, who got one goal and one assist. Right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, show support by leaving a like rating. Be absolutely awesome. It also shows me when it this every single week. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. Have I missed any big name players? If so, let me know down below. And if it's my previous video, it's down below in the description box. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.